2019 was an interesting year to say the least. I cannot recap the entire year, but these are the events I can remember at this moment. Early in the year, we got our early disappointments. After years of demands and petitions, we finally got the iconic scene in SpongeBob SquarePants being performed at the Super Bowl for only a few seconds. The trailer of the Sonic movie came out, and people's reactions are. Mainly, it was the Sonic design that blew up the internet with memes and criticism. So much that the director actually postponed the movie so the team can change the design that is more appealing, which is full respect in my book. A Facebook post that was meant to be a joke somehow blew up, causing the military of Air 51 to take it seriously. In reality, only a few people showed up and it didn't cause a war to free the alien aliens we all hoped. But this guy definitely made that up. Lastly, no one didn't expect, but not surprised, is YouTube's new policy. How will it affect original creators in the platform when 2020 rolls around? Will it likely destroy people's livelihood like YouTube has done many times in the past? We just have to see. You know what doesn't destroy lives is Manomi Park. Twenty eighteen has been a good year for the small indie studio. The studio has created a stream of updates, events, and a few surprises that make my wallet scream every time. Let's recap that year together, starting with January. Manobi Park renovated their new studio, all the while releasing new fabulous merch. February was an exciting month, showcasing a sneak peek of the upcoming expansions and the DLC skins that will be released later in the year. March was a slow month, a yearly St. Patrick's ornaments became available to collect. All the while, the studio had a panel at the GDC where they shared their experience and knowledge surviving in a competitive field of gaming. April was another slow month showcasing additional footage of the new gadget for the expansion. May punches back in full force after a couple of months of slow news, finally announcing the release date of both DLC and Victor's expansions. June was another and exciting month for Slime Ranger fans. The Secret Style DLC was available to purchase, not to mention the long-awaited Victor's expansion was ready to play. July was a slow month, but kept our while it's shaky with the new tar pillow available in the 4 fans by fans store. August was a special month because it was the 2 year anniversary of the game since it came out of early access on Steam. For September, just like my brain, nothing much has happened. October is where it begins to pick up. A yearly Halloween ornament became available to collect, new spooky merch ready for purchase, and lastly, awesome Halloween costumes from the fans. November was also a special month because the studio turned 5 years old. Just in time for the holidays, mugs and stickers became available to buy, causing thousands of people's wallets to scream. December was the most eventful. The second OST, titled Cassie Session, was available to purchase. A surprise social gathering happened in Monomi Park's official YouTube channel. A 4 hour live stream with a cozy fireplace and a fire slime warming our hearts. Lastly, the oh so anticipated weekly Wonderland event was underway. Through December 18th to the 30th, get the chance to glimpse at the elusive twinkle slime before it's gone for another year. Well, that's it for the recap. 2019 was a fun roller coaster ride, having its ups and downs and highs again. Now we got to look forward to what the new ride of 2020 will bring. What do you guys look forward to next year? Let me know down below. Like always, stay delicious and happy holidays.